Hey guys, Austin here with 715 Tactical. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be checking out another customized Sig Sauer P320. Since the last episode of Build Your Dream, I've really been falling in love with this platform. From the modularity to reliability and accuracy, it's a very slick system. Before we dive into this firearm, let's give a shout out to our new channel sponsor. Today's episode is brought to you by 13 Stripes. 13 Stripes is a small veteran-owned business that believes in old-fashioned American values. Pride in country, pride in self. 13 Stripes is pushing out some awesome patriotic headwear. If you're in the market for a new hat, make sure you check these guys out. I'll make sure to leave a link to their shop and their social platforms down in the video description. These are very high quality hats, decorated by hand right here in the United States. But the cap itself is imported. You know, as a small business, that's what they have to do right now. And they will definitely not try to hide that from you. They are a very open company, very loyal to their customers, and I am very happy to have them. Once again, make sure you check out 13 Stripes if you're in the market for some patriotic headwear. Let's dive in. The Sig Sauer P320. Modularity at its finest. Ever since Sig decided to sell their serialized fire control unit as a standalone part, I mean they basically opened the doors for customization. Very frickin' cool, and that's what I like to see. We're gonna cover this pistol in the traditional 715 style, start at the slide, and work our way through the rest of the firearm. If you're familiar with the retailer Optics Planet, then you should be familiar with Tribe Defense. Tribe Defense is sold exclusively through Optics Planet. You're not gonna find their products anywhere else. Optics Planet was nice enough to send out this Tribe Defense slide and the Tribe Defense barrel. The beauty about Tribe Defense is that you're gonna get a quality product at not an arm breaking price. That's very hard to find these days. Usually when it comes to customized gun parts, you're gonna be paying out your ass and your wallet's gonna hate you for it. If you remember the first episode of Build Your Dream where we did the customized Sig Sauer P365, I used a Tribe Defense barrel in there and I had zero issues. It ran flawless, it was very accurate, and it was very durable. Now this is a titanium nitrided coated barrel and it is threaded. So if you choose to run a compensator or a suppressor, you have the ability to do so. I like the fact that it has a thread protector. You know, that's a must if you buy a threaded barrel. I will not buy a threaded barrel if the company isn't nice enough to even include a thread protector. One thing that I wish the thread protector did include is an o-ring just to secure it on the barrel while you're using it. There is no o-ring inside this thread protector, so it does have the possibility of loosening up under fire. The fit, the finish, it's all there. It's definitely a quality barrel. Now there is no fluting on it, this is just your standard barrel, but that's all right. That's probably why it's a little bit cheaper than most out there. The lockup between slide and barrel is exactly how it should be. There's no play, there's no wiggle room, it's nice and tight. Let's take a look at this Tribe Defense slide. Obviously this is gonna be in their FDE finish. I do believe that this is Cerakoted and it is cut for a Trigicon RMR. Now, when I received this slide, it did not have an optics cover plate. It was simply the cut for the RMR and that was it. You're gonna find front and rear serrations, which makes wrecking the slide very easy and pleasing. It also features a window cut on the top of the slide, exposing your barrel. I really like the slide. It is very simplistic, but to me, simplistic is not always a bad thing. Simplistic is effective, usually, and effective is attractive. Let's be real. When it comes down to the iron sights, Optics Planet was nice enough once again to send out these night fission tritium sights. Now these are number eight Sig Sauer suppressor height sights. I have a blacked out rear and a white ring with the green tritium insert in the front. There is no tritium in the rear. That's all right, you know, I like blacked out rears. Let's talk about the Sun Optics Raid Red Dot. With an MSRP of $150, I'll say right now my hopes were not too high. The last budget optic that I reviewed, I won't even mention it anymore. It was that disgusting. But when it comes to the raid by Sun Optics, I think you're getting a very quality dot at a stupid low price. I mean for $150, you are really getting a very capable dot. Night vision compatible, manual adjustment settings, RMR footprint, and here's the best part. This little fucker holds zero. That wasn't the case with the last budget optic that I reviewed. So like I said, I didn't have the highest hopes, but you know, I'm actually pretty surprised by this thing. Now one thing I will mention, when you make your turret adjustments for windage and elevation, they are pretty mushy. You're not gonna have that fine audible click that you're gonna find with an optic such as the Trigicon RMR. But it's 150 bucks, man, what do you expect? 
The Sun Optics RAID features a 3 MOA dot with a 24mm objective diameter. You know, you get a pretty decent field of view with this dot. I will say that. It's not so stupid small where you have a hard time seeing through it. The visibility of your irons through the dot is pretty phenomenal. I had no issues picking up my irons when I turned the dot off. The RAID features a 12 hour auto shut off, two night vision settings, 10 brightness settings, and a battery life of 5,000 hours on the medium setting. Now this dot also came with a low Picatinny mount. If you choose to use it, awesome, more power to you. Just like the RMR, the battery tray is gonna be located on the underside of the optic. So when your battery finally dies, you do have to dismount it, pop in a new battery, remount it, and re-zero it. Sitting inside this slide as a heart and soul is a Grey Ghost Precision parts kit. Grey Ghost Precision is a very popular name in the firearm community. They make some very quality parts, and I can definitely say that about this parts kit. You know, it's quality, it's Grey Ghost, I trust it. I haven't had any issues, no light primer strikes, no failure to fires, nothing like that. When it comes to the grip module of the SIG P320, usually everybody's gonna prefer something a little bit different. You know, individuality, our hand sizes are all different, our grips are different, and we usually all prefer something different. Thank God for Wilson Combat, because this is by far one of the best grip modules that I've used so far for the P320. This features their sunburst texture. You know, this is definitely laser engraved. It's not hand stippled, but that's all right because for the low price of $60, you're getting that Wilson Combat goodness. The grip angle is phenomenal. The palm swell isn't over exaggerated and this thing fits my hand like a glove. You know, I feel like this was made specifically for my hand. Now, Wilson Combat was nice enough to send this out for this video. So a big shout out to those guys as well. Once again, you're gonna have the sunburst texture on the side and some pretty decent aggressive texture on the front and back strap. You know as well as I do, the higher you get to that bore axis, the less felt recoil that you're gonna have from your firearm. And this grip module will definitely help with that. On the back side of the grip module, you're gonna find a pretty decent beaver tail, allowing you to really sink your hand into that module without the worry of slide bite. You know, slide bite's a real thing. I've seen it, but I've never had it happen to me. Maybe I'm just lucky. The tolerances are very tight, I will say that. When I first installed the fire control unit into this grip module, I had a little bit of a hard time working it in there. Wait, 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 wait. That's what she said. When it comes to the takedown lever, this is gonna be from a company called Armory Craft. To me, this serves as two purposes. Not only as a takedown lever, but a gas pedal for your thumb. When I have a full grip on this firearm, my thumb will actually sit on top of there, allowing me to add some downward pressure, which really helps reduce felt recoil in my opinion. It's very comfortable. There's nice serrations for you to grip onto. I would probably put one of these on every P320. My overall thoughts and impressions. I was very happy with this build. The reliability, the aesthetically pleasing looks, you know, it's very cool. When it comes down to this custom titanium nitride fire control unit, it's like enhancing your Sig Sauer to an X5 Legion series. You know, it takes it from that standard mediocre run of the mill trigger and basically upgrades it to a Ferrari trigger for a striker fired pistol. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of way better triggers out there, but for a polymer striker fired handgun, this thing's pretty sick. I would highly recommend any of the parts that we cover today. They're definitely not the most expensive and they're probably not the Gucciest out there, but they get the job done and the price is right. Performance, check. Aesthetically pleasing, check. Not super hard on your pocketbook and your wife's gonna chop off your head in the middle of the night, check. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're able to take something away from it. Once again, make sure you check out 13 Stripes if you're looking for some awesome patriotic headwear. As always, thank you for stopping in, stay vigilant, and I will see you next time.